Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we're going to talk about how to bring multiple sources on the screen at the same time. It's with MultiViews. You see MultiViews all the time on television, especially if you watch news, when you see one person talking and another source over here, or a PowerPoint or things like that. And thankfully, built into the YOLO box, the pro and the original, you have a way to put multiple different kinds of multiviews on the screen. And I wanted to walk you through some of these choices. So down here, you can see I have add a video source. The really cool thing is, the YOLO box treats these multi-views as a, as a finished camera source. So you can build them, have them all set up, and then you just touch them like you do with any other video source in the YOLO box. So let's build one. You click on that. Now you've got picture in picture video, split view, side by side, news layout, and triple. So we're gonna go with a picture in picture video. First you pick the background, then you pick the foreground, the first thing I want to point out is this thing right here. This is called the aspect ratio. If you just have one person talking, you don't need all this wasted space on the side. So you can get rid of that and open up more space for the graphic element, which is behind you. So you click on the aspect ratio and let's just say you can go one to one. So now you can see this takes up less room and you can kind of tuck it into the corner a little bit more and that way you're using up less screen real estate for the person talking because it's a vertical person talking. You can even get pretty extreme. You can go 10 by 16 and just have this tall window over here with a person talking. And for a lot of times, that's really all you need, especially if they're gonna be fairly close to the camera and they can be talking like this. This way you can see them talking. You still have that face-to-face -face connection, but then you're also leaving a lot of room open on the screen for the content. With the sub screen shape, you can now pick different sizes like a circle. Done, uh, go back. And then you can pick the size. And then you can move this around on the screen, whether you've got less stuff on the left or less stuff on the right, you can move this to the appropriate corner. Done. And now you can see right here at the bottom, this exists as a ready to go source. So when I wanna talk about my PowerPoint, I just literally touch that and I'm ready to go. I'm talking about the PowerPoint, it's done. I don't have to like build it on the fly. This is a multi-view and it exists just like I can go back to me on my camera. Another thing I wanna show you, you can't do this on the original YOLO box because it doesn't have green screen, but the YOLO box Pro does. So this is what I'm using here. I have the YOLO box Pro is keying out that green background that you saw. So I have this background being placed into the original YOLO box. I am going to put myself over top of, let us go to the ad screen. Da, da, da. So now I have put myself over the other source and the other source is the original YOLO box choice. But you can see there's no box around me because that was removed. The camera source has green screen, the green screen has been removed so it's literally the only thing that gets passed through is me. The green is all removed. So that actually provides a, a, a much different view than if you were to go with the circle. Now the circle in my case, because I have a green screen, has that green background, but normally you would have some other background behind the person. But I wanted to show the difference when you have a green screen and you do this picture in picture, now all of a sudden I'm able to just float over top of the background and that is a very cool way to just refer to side by side or the news layout. I can just point to these things as if they're, I'm able to touch them, which I can't because as you saw on the other camera, I have a green screen behind me. So let's go back to the other one. So again, this is the original YOLO box where I cannot key out the green screen that's behind me. And when I do a picture in picture, this is what you get. But if you had a wall behind the person, if you had a bookcase or something else, then this would look perfectly appropriate. Let's go back down here and add a new source. Next one is the split view. Uh, let's do that camera and this camera. And now 
we have these two cameras and we've got this split view. We're having this conversation and we're both side by side. You can change the border thickness. You can change the position, you know, one side or the other, give it a little bit of weight to it. So if, if I'm want to give more weight to me, I can give more weight to the other person, to the guest person, and then I could just be talking about this. You can also add an angle, although I don't find this as useful to it. The center button means that it's going to center up each of these sides to the middle. If you turn that off, then my camera is going to be move over to there to the middle. Watch. So now <laughs> I'm over here, but the, the center is Mm, the other way is over there. If you hit center, that means it puts the center of the camera in that visible area. And pretty much you're going to want this all the time. Say done. Now, as you can see, these multi views are adding up down here. I get to keep multiple multi views at the ready. You're not limited to just one multi view. I've got a split view. I got a picture in picture video. Hey, let's add another one. side by side. Now, I can put uh, this one next to me. Let's go. And now I can put a background. So let's go put a background on here. Do, 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 just a generic background like chalkboard done. And you can adjust the spacing of those two. Let's go like that done. And now you bring that up. So you can see I'm talking here and my guest is over there and we can have this conversation, but this looks kind of boring, honestly. Now, I've prepared for that. This is where with the backgrounds, you can start to dress this up a little bit. So let's open this up again. We're going to hit the little right icon. We're going to reselect. We're going to put this one next. Actually, let me go back. I have a special guest. Let me change what's on my screen here. Uh, there we go. I have a special guest and we are going to do side by side again. Uh, reselect. First I want me, then I want Rebecca Ferguson, and then there we are. We're going to select a different background image. Oh yeah, I already have one, so we're going to edit. And I'm going to choose this one. Done. Done. Now you can see this kind of looks like a show. And all that is is a simple JPEG. But I made this JPEG ahead of time. It's got a title. It's got some information down here on the left, weekdays. Uh, it's got a sponsored by over there in the corner. And I could have a chat with someone and have this pretty background behind us. So while we're talking, we could just have this thing going. You could also um, dress up the foreground. Let's just say I want to bring her to the foreground because she has her own camera, which is right there. I can bring her to the foreground and I can add this overlay. So then this kind of ties with the theme of the show. It has the same look as the show. And then when I want to go to the multi view, I go there and I take that off. And here now we're having this conversation. Or if you're going to edit it, you could just even edit in between those moments and then it all looks perfect. Next up is the news layout. So let me go back to my PowerPoint. There we go. We're going to bring my PowerPoint up and then me. And as you can see, I am talking about my PowerPoint, which is right to my side. And then you can add a background image. Again, I'll choose something nondescript. So that's fairly dark. Done. Done. And that is available right here as a camera view. And this way I could be talking about this particular PowerPoint. Now, like I says, I find picture in picture to be a little bit better for this. But the news layout, what that does is that preserves this format. So it's 16 by 9 and it stays 16 by 9. And then you have a little window for the person talking about it. The last one we have to bring up on the screen is the triple. We go. So let's just say me next, this one next, this one next. And this is good because the original yellow box, you've got three inputs. 
and I'm using the laptop for one, but with a USB adapter, that could be three cameras. So you can have three people side by side all talking to you on the screen. Background color, border thickness, and center. Again, the center is centering up each of the inputs into their slot if you turn that off. Now, you can see why you really do want to center those images that will put the center of the source into the center of that vertical slot. So that's a really important piece of information. So there you have all these multiviews. I have three cameras right down here, and then below that I have three different multiviews all at the ready. Now, this that I'm doing this on right here is the original YOLO box. The YOLO box Pro has the ability to have more than just six inputs. So you can actually have two of each of the multiviews, and that just gives you so much flexibility. Let's take a look at that. All right, now I've swapped them. So now you can see that when I bring this up, I have more multiviews, and that is because now we are looking at the Pro, which gives you picture in picture, picture in picture, two, split view and another one, side by side and a second one, news layout and a second one, triple and a second one, and that is a lot of things going on. Let's start with the picture in picture video. We're gonna start with this, next, me, next, done. Then we're gonna add a video source. We're gonna do split view. We're gonna start with Rebecca and then that. Next, we are going to have the, let's just say triple. So we go one and two and three, go, done. And then you can see now I have a little arrow at the bottom of this. We're gonna add a source. Let's do split view two with this one and this one next. And we're gonna change the direction so it looks different and the, change the position, done. And add another one. And we're gonna say local video, done. And then we are going to add another video source. Let's do a picture in picture with that as the video background and me next. So you can see me, but then, as I've shown before, you can adjust the scale of the overlay, done. And when you bring that up, it'll automatically play the background. And here I am in front of my winter, uh, actually it's 100 degrees outside because I'm in Texas right now, but I'm in front of this winterscape video behind me and I'm using my green screen key so it removes the green and places me over the video using this picture in picture right here. And you see this arrow. This is the key thing that I wanted to show you with the Pro. I already have so many videos stored on the other side. If I click that up arrow, you can see I've got my three cameras, one, two, and three, but then I've got my first picture in picture video my second split view, my triple, and I hit the down button, I've got my second split view, I've got video, I've got my picture in picture video with me over that, and you can keep adding things. Do, 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 let's do the, I did a triple already, let's do a news layout with the video, next, with Rebecca, next. You can see, we'll put a background on there, that's a good one, done. So there you go, you've got, she can be talking about the snowy weather where she's at, done. And we can add some more. So the Pro is giving you the same thing as you get in the original Yola box. There's just more, more sources. You know, you can see I've got two pages of sources down here and I can flip between them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I already have 10 sources in the Yola box Pro and I have the ability to add more, and with that little arrow, I can go up and down between those pages of sources. You can use all of these multi-views to create different looks, different capabilities, different ways of presenting your information, especially when you come up with cool overlays, when you come up with ways to, let's just go back to me, so I can add a frame over things. And this is how you can really dress up your show with overlays, 
with backgrounds, and with all the other assets that we talked about in our graphics video. This has been a look at the multi-views built in to the YOLO box. My name is Anthony Barokas. Thanks for watching.